Hey Facebook, how is everyone? Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I wanted to hop on and give you seven tips on what I think you should be doing every single day in your MLM business. Um, I would really appreciate it if you share it to your teams. I think it's gonna be super beneficial. Um, give me some love for hopping on, say hey, but yeah, these are seven things that I have learned from other people, other top earners that they have learned from other people. Um, oh, my dog's coming in again. So, hey, buddy. So, these are things that I have started to practice, and I've seen a tremendous increase, and in. like, it's really, really helped. So, let's just get into it. If you're saying, caught hopping on, say hey. Um, but anyways... So every day you should be adding about anywhere from two to three people, about five people a week ish at, at the very, at the minimum. You don't want to go overboard, but you also don't want to like, you have to explain your network somehow, right? And what I do is I go through and select people that I have mutual friends with. I will add them. I will not message them and be like, hi, my name's Carmen. I sell blah, 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 blah. Don't do that. <laughs> That's tacky. Um... What I do is I add them and, you know, usually when you add someone, they start popping into your news feed, so I'll just comment on their stuff. Like, I'm not, I don't do it in any sort of crazy, weird, like, magical fashion. I just conversate. I'm genuine. Like, I try to build relationships with people because that's what this business is about. But eventually, you're going to run out of your market and you're going to run out of people, so you have to be constantly building new relationships and meeting new people. Um, yeah, so that, that is tip number one and tip number two would be spend 10 to 15 minutes a day going through your newsfeed and commenting on people's stuff. Actually be genuine. So when I comment on your stuff, it's because I actually care. I'm not just being like, mm. like I actually care. I don't comment on everything, but I comment on other people's stuff because not only will that, um, bring your, the stuff you post into their news feed, but you're building connections and you know, that's what this whole business is about regard anyways, not necessarily making money, but it's about making friends. And I've made a lot of friends and met a lot of really awesome people through network marketing. And some of them haven't bought from me, which is totally fine, but go through and spend 10 to 15 minutes, dedicate yourself to not scrolling. Cause I know a lot of us are like, well, we do that. Well, you're going to comment on a lot of your friends stuff and you need to really be making sure you're commenting and engaging with people that you don't normally talk to. And that's kind of hard when you first start because it's kind of like, mm, I don't know what to talk about. But like in the last couple of weeks when I've been implementing this, like I have gotten to know so many people so much more and I've noticed that they start watching my videos or they comment on my stuff more, which is great. Um, so just build relationships with people and that's the easiest way to do it. Um, number three is go live. Uh, you shouldn't, you don't have to do it every day, but you should definitely make it a habit. Go live as often as you can. And I suggest not really talking about your product. Uh, give people, give people, uh, value. People will buy you. They don't buy your product. They buy you. And even if people don't buy from you, like give people value. It is so important. So that's why all these network marketers are doing these crazy lives because we're trying to give you value. You know, why, why would you follow us if we weren't, you know? Um, and not only to give value, but during lives, you can see my temperament. You see, you can actually hear my voice. You see that I am a real person. I am in fact a real person. You know, you get to see, you get to hear my laugh. You like, you feel like you actually know me and I get to interact with you guys too, which is cool. If you people actually would comment on my videos, that would be super awesome. <laughs> But live videos are so great because, like I said, it's like you get to actually know these people and they're so beneficial, but you have to be consistent. That's something that I am striving to do. And it's really, live videos are hard. Um, they're really, really awkward at first, but I promise you, you get so much, so much better and it gets much easier. Um, the hardest part for me is coming up with content. So go live at least a couple times a week. I swear it will change your business. I promise you. Go live. If you're going to be an MLM, you have to go, you have to go live. It's such a great, great tool. Um, number four, and this is for, I went live in my team page yesterday and kind of went over this. So this may not apply to you, but a lot of, uh, MLM 
companies tell you to have like a side like a VIP group to where you could be more salesy. And um, so this, the silliest thing is I have people that don't post in their groups every single day, which is stupid because you can actually schedule posts. You can schedule them out for a month or whatever, so you don't even have to worry about it. But you need to be posting in your group every single day, not like a ton, but for my company, I tell people you should probably be posting at least one before and after and one other post a day. Bare minimum two. It's really not that hard to do. And yeah, because I have people that like will post, you know, they only post when there's a sale going on. Well, if I post, hey, there's a sale going on of this Dealy Bob, this Dealy Bob, you know, and you're like, okay, cool, Carmen. Well, I don't see how this impacts my life. Like, I haven't, you don't know why you need this in your life. This may be the best product on the market, but you don't know what this does. You don't know, you don't know why you need it, you know? So you have to be constantly telling people, like, hey, this is why you need my bomb product. And then that way, you know, when you do have sales going on, people are like, perfect was waiting for a sale, now I'm going to buy it. So make sure you're posting in your group, if you have a group. Or, number five, make sure you're posting on your actual public profile, and you have to have your profile public. You can change this, um, the settings to certain, like, to, like, a certain post, like, if you have post pictures of kids, you can change that to, like, a select group, or you can do that to, like, not private, or not public. But everything else has to be public. It is key. But on your homepage, I tell my people to not be salesy because I don't want to follow people that are super salesy. Of course, you can post about your product every so often, but I would post like before and after. It's like, what is it doing? But I wouldn't post it all the time. There's a very, very fine line, and me and Andrew talked about this last night. There's a very, very fine line of being annoying, but also getting your point across and sharing your product. Um, I tend to post more so like selfies or like pictures of my life. That way you get to know me and you get to like invest, you get invested in me. But I also tie in my, the product I sell or the company I sell somehow very, very subtly because I don't want to be annoying and salesy because then people won't be my friend and people won't follow me, which is not good. Again, the whole point of this is to have friends and so there's a very, very fine line. That's why I like having a group because I can be annoying and salesy in there. And those are just the people that want to be in my group. I don't add people. And if you want to leave, that's great. Um, but make sure you're posting. You have to be active. You have to be active on Facebook. You can't not be active because Facebook sees that and Facebook will share your stuff if like, it's all about the Facebook algorithm. Go look up the Facebook algorithm. It is very confusing and it is constantly changing and we're constantly fighting it as network marketers. But Facebook is like the more people engage with your post, the more they're, they're going to share your post with other people. That makes sense. Does that make sense? I feel like that makes sense. So make sure you're posting. Otherwise, people aren't going to want to buy from you if you're just posting crap about your business constantly or whatever. Like, that's boring. People like people. <laughs> So number six is use Facebook stories. This is something that I really struggled with because I'm a huge Snapchat, Snapchat person. I love Snapchat. But again, if you're working your business on Facebook, people like to see the day in and, you know, like people like to see you. And especially on my Facebook story, I am a lot more Carmen-ish. I mean, I'm, this is me, but I'm also a lot more like I give you in-depth details about my life, which... I don't know. I'm kind of a sucker for that. I follow people on Snapchat and stuff. Like, um, one of my favorite parent people is Erin Williams. She's a mom. I love watching her stuff. It's stupid. It's just stupid stuff about her kids and her life. And it's like, my husband's like, why do you watch that stuff? But it's like reality TV. Um, so make sure you're you utilizing Facebook stories. And Facebook stories, do not post the same stuff that you were posting on your Facebook timeline. That is stupid. Why are you doing that? Post different stuff up there. You want people to get to know you. Like, post more in-depth stuff about your life. Like, what, what you would put on your Snapchat story. But there's no point in posting it up there when you have it down here. It just, again, looks tacky and salesy, and I don't like that. I hate when people do that. It's stupid. It's like, I just saw that on your profile. Why are you posting it there? So don't do that. 
use Facebook stories and you can go follow, you can go up to the very, very top of Facebook and watch mine. I post a lot of stuff about Brandon and my cute dog. So I've been really, really working on doing that and I'm getting used to that. So, um, and lastly, when people comment on your stuff, and again, this is something I really struggled with up until I realized what I was doing was detrimental to my Facebook algorithm and my business. When people comment on your stuff, respond. Every single time someone comments on something, respond. Even if they comment an emoji, just comment an emoji back. Um, why? Because first off, you should probably be responding to people that are talking to you. Um, and it will, the more posts you have or the comments and more interaction you have on your stuff, like I said, Facebook will share that with more people. So you want as many likes and comments and stuff, which is why in my videos, which I am working on, in my videos, we're trying to like, oh, if you agree, drop a number one. If you blah, 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 do you agree? Like, we're trying to get you to talk. We're trying to get you to say hey, because if more people comment on live videos, the more it's going to get shared and the more audience will see me. So that's why it's very important to help a girl out. When you see someone going... I hear my dog whining somewhere. If you, sorry, if you see someone going live, go ahead and say, hey, like you're helping someone out and you don't even have to buy from them. So those are my tips. Um, oh, hey, Sarah. And I have one more tip and this goes back to the going live thing. When I see that someone like likes my live, like if you like or love my live or something, I will go back and I will comment and I'll be like, thank you, Sarah, for watching my video. Even they might have not watched it, and I don't really care, but that way, I'm when I tag them in that, that is going to get put on their friend's timeline. So, that's those, those are my tips. I feel like those are pretty good. Those are things you should be doing almost every single day, and they will really help your business. So, if you found this useful, I really would appreciate it if you would share it with your team, um, rather than you regurgitating it all yourself. Here's Kringle. <laughs> Say hi, Kringle. Yeah, share with your teams and let's make a 2018 amazing. Whoop, whoop. See you guys.